You're watching the Physics Classroom's video tutorial on vectors and projectiles. The topic of this video is vector addition. Here's the questions we wish to answer. What does it mean to add vectors? What's the result of adding vectors? And what method should we employ for adding vectors? Let's get started. Let's suppose that you're going to walk from your house to your friend's house. So in the process, you walk a half a mile to the east, and then you walk six-tenths of the mile north, and then finally you walk 0.3 miles to the east. You've done three individual displacement vectors, and the net result of these three displacement vectors is that you've displaced yourself from your house to your friend's house. And that's an as-the-crow-flies displacement of 1.0 miles at a direction of 37 degrees counterclockwise from east or 37 degrees north of east. What we can say about this one mile vec displacement vector, 37 degrees counterclockwise, that that's the net result. It's like the sum of doing these three individual vectors. So this demonstrates the idea of adding three vectors to obtain a resultant vector. This story of your trip to your friends demonstrates a head-to-tail addition of three vectors. You have to understand that a vector has a tail and a head, the head being the arrowhead of a vector. And when you add a second vector to a first vector, you do it with the head-to-tail method. You place the tail of the second vector at the arrowhead of the first vector. And when you add the third vector to the second vector, you place the tail of the third vector at the arrowhead of the second vector. The net result of all this is you have a sum, a vector sum, or a resultant. And that resultant vector is drawn to, from the starting point to the finish point, from the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector. This head-to-tail addition of vectors can be easily remembered if you get a mental picture of the elephants in the circus. The elephants join together with the head of one elephant holding onto the tail in the front. Just like when we add vectors, the arrowhead of one vector is attached or joined to the tail of the very next vector. As we've seen, when we apply this method to adding A, B, and C, we get a resultant. This resultant is equivalent to doing A plus B plus C combined. In other words, individually, the resultant is equivalent to the sum of the three individual vectors. That's why we call the resultant the result of adding two or more vectors, or the sum of two or more vectors. In this animation, we're going to observe the head-to-tail addition of three vectors, vector B, G, and V. We'll order, add them in the order shown. First, we're going to drag vector B onto the workspace. Then, we're going to add vector G to it. When we add vector G, we'll place the tail of vector G at the arrowhead of B. Then we'll place the tail of vector V at the arrowhead of G. Now we have to find the resultant. It will be drawn from the tail of the first vector to the head of the last. That is, from the tail of vector B to the arrowhead of vector V. This is the resultant. It's the vector sum of the three individual, four individual vectors B, G, and V. This is our second example in which we observe an animation of the vector addition of vectors B, G, and V. We're going to add the three of them in head-to-tail fashion. First, we draw B. We drag it onto the workspace. And once we do, we're going to add vector G to it. As we add vector G, we'll place its tail at the arrowhead of B. Then we add vector V, placing its tail at the arrowhead of G. Once done, we can determine the resultant. It will be drawn from the tail of the first vector to the arrowhead of the last vector. Vector R is the resultant. It is the vector sum of the three individual vectors. In this animation, we're going to ask the question, does the order in which we add three vectors affect the resultant? We have vectors B, G, and V, and we're going to first add them in that order, beginning with vector B, and then once we draw vector B, we'll add vector G to it in head-to-tail fashion, and then finally vector V, and here's the resultant. Now, this is the resultant of B plus G plus V, but what we're going to do is leave this resultant on the screen and then add the three vectors in a different order, this time G first, followed by V, followed by B. And when we add it in that order, it's the same resultant when drawn from the tail of G to the head of V. 
Now we're going to add it in a third order, v plus b plus g. And once more, when we add it in that order, we get the same result in. So the conclusion we would make is the order in which we add vectors does not affect the resultant. There are two basic approaches to adding vectors to determine the resultant. Both of the approaches rely very heavily upon this head-to-tail addition concept. The first approach is called the graphical method. In the graphical method, we use a scaled vector diagram in order to determine a resultant. This is the topic of our very next video in this series. The second approach is sometimes called the analytical method, and that's when we rely upon trigonometric functions such as sine, cosine, and tangent, and upon the Pythagorean theorem in order to determine the resultant. Those lessons are coming up right after our very next one. Well, we've learned a lot about what it means to add vectors and what the result of adding vectors is and the method for adding vectors. And it's at this time in every video, I like to help you out with an action plan, a series of next steps for making the learning stick. But before I help you out with that, could you help us out? If you enjoyed the video, could you press on the like button, maybe even subscribe to the channel and, and tap on the bell to get notifications? Or if you simply have a question or comment, we'd be glad to hear from you. Why don't you leave your comment down below in the comment section? Here's your action plan. Got a lot of ideas for you. The first one is from our website. It's a section called the Physics Help. And there's um, 12 vector addition problems. And what you have to do is you're given three vectors with their magnitude and direction. You have to add them head to tail. Be great little practice and something to look over. Uh, second uh, suggestion is a concept builder at our website called Head to Tail Vector Edition. I'd say that's made for this video as much as anything we have on our website. Perfect help for you. Third uh, suggestion is try our physics interactives. There's a simulation there called Vector Edition where you simply drag vectors onto a workspace and you add them head to tail and you view the resultant. It's a good little thing to practice. Fourth suggestion is our Minds on Physics app for rigor as a rigorous program that delivers questions, gives you immediate feedback, helps to uh, links to question specific helps. It's a great little practice, works on your phone and on other devices as well. And finally, we have a tutorial on our website. You might want to check out the page on Vector Edition. Whatever you do, we wish you the best of luck.